Hello, 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 my dear student. This week we will be covering thermal equilibrium and heat flow. What are the objectives of our lesson? Is to plan and conduct an investigation to provide evidence that thermal energy is transferred when two components of a system are combined. We will be using the second law of thermodynamics to construct an explanation about heat flow and thermal equilibrium. We will describe how engineered device use the transfer of thermal energy, mainly heat engines and heat pumps, and then we will use mathematics to determine the efficiency of a heat engine. Now, we will talk about what happens when you push the two objects together so that they are in contact. Eventually, the objects reach the same temperature. The warmer object decreases in the temperature while the cooler object increases in temperature. Warmer objects decrease in temperature and cooler object increase in temperature. Decreasing temperature, increasing temperature until they reach equilibrium. So how can we describe thermal equilibrium in terms of kinetic energy? The average kinetic energy of the particles within both objects will be equal. Thermal equilibrium is a very important concept. Now, energy transfer through heating. Radiation transfers thermal energy. Conduction transfers thermal energy. Convection transfer thermal energy. So these are the three ways energy can be transferred. As you can see in the image here, radiation, this is a uh, heating uh, oven. Radiation is the process by which object transfer heat to another object through what? Electromagnetic waves. So radiation is about waves. Heat from the sun reach us through radiation. Conduction. What is conduction? When energy is absorbed by the solid object is placed in contact with a heat source. So there must be touching for the resource. Convection is the process by which heat is transferred through fluid flow. Fluid means liquid or gases. It's the, a material that can flow. Keep this um, in your mind. Now, microwave, how do heat transfer through microwave? Of course, through radiation. You put an ice on your hand if you burn it. Why Why you do that? Because uh, you want the heat to transfer from your hand to the ice. And this is an example of conduction. We will discuss many other examples. Now, the second law of thermodynamics here in our lesson, we are interested uh, in it. What does it state? The change in entropy of a system and its surroundings must always be greater than or equal to zero. This is the second law. What is entropy? Entropy is the measure of disorder in a system and that the ink gets more disordered from left to right. As you can see here, the ink gets more disordered from left to right. Will the ink ever be more ordered? Not, of course, not on its own. Now, how does the direction of heat flow is also determined by the second law of thermodynamic? If you put ice in a glass of water, how does the heat move? Heat flow from warmer water to the cooler ice until they reach thermal equilibrium. So I hope 
you will understand this lesson as you have understood all the lessons before. We will be discussing also heat engines, how the uh, heat will flow in it. We will study uh, thermodynamic cycles, Carnot cycle, which is a very important uh, model. We will discuss the heat pumps, how they work, what are the 